This is my LED drive test board where I, I just test the resistor on the tank circuit to drive the LEDs and I finish uh, my two LED banks they are 40 LEDs uh, LEDs in series and both of them are in parallel and they give a stupid amount of light uh, the power consumption is about uh, 550 microamps milliamps sorry uh, 0 0.050 so it's 50 milliamps at 110 volts it's about 5.5 uh, watts I think that's it so uh, at maximum most uh, 6 watts to be exactly 5.5 uh, watts they are really stupid amount of light I was making some tests and uh, each of this uh, gives uh, the same amount of light of uh, an 11 watt CFL bulb each of them it's uh, between the 9 watt CFL and 11 watt CFL uh, are the the lowest values that I have in here in my country 9 and 11 and uh, each of these panels stays uh, almost like an 11 watt and uh, for sure much more than a 9 watt I have now finished my two uh, LED clusters, 40 LEDs in series. Each of the LEDs is 5 mm ultra bright, uh, 3.4 volts, 20 milliamps each. And this is my test board. I'm using a 1 watt. Uh, sorry, 1K half a watt resistor and the tank circuit in here just with a bridge rectifier, full bridge and a capacitor just it, simple, functional and really 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 great and this, uh, this, this circuit with this kind of cluster gave me much more light than my 96 light cluster. Now it's just to find a way to make a, a ceiling lamp and change my two. 9 watt CFL that I have in the ceiling for this two LED cluster panel and instead of 18 watts to light up my room I will use just 5.5 .5